Hi there, welcome to Fourth Line Hockey Show. I'm your host, Willie Ploof. I'm here with Mitchell Klin, my one and unbelievable winger. Mitchell, how are you today, buddy? I'm doing well. You know, we're coming up on 20 shows here. You know, we're, we're becoming pretty seasoned vets here at uh, Royal Sports, kind of hanging around. I mean, we're sitting down most of the time, which means we're not doing anything right on the ice. But, hey, we're sitting down. We're here. You know, that's why I'm not shaving, Mitch. I'm just going to let the beard keep on growing. <laughs> Mitchell, I want to talk to you about your shirt. What are you sporting that uh, Lightning shirt for? You know what? I've uh, kind of I've, I've sported enough Toronto Maple Leaf stuff, and I figured this is the closest I can get to blue and white without actually wearing the, the Toronto Maple Leaf colors. And plus, I don't think I've worn any, any Tampa Bay Lightning uh, so far in the fourth line hockey show, so why not? There we go. I always bug you about the Leafs. And you know, <laughs> I'm sporting the Bruins because of some guys I know, Ace Payne in this group, you know, go Bruins, go, and that's all I'm saying. You know, today's show, we're going to talk about players taping sticks young players you know sometimes you hear little kids how do you tape your stick you know which way to tape it a veteran's got a different look some guys got the full blade half blade we're gonna have bringing our uh our third veteran dude has been around for a while, Darcy Matang, retired and all that. He's come up, you know, a fan favorite of the fourth line hockey show. Absolutely. You know, he's, he's kind of, uh, we got to be careful because he's getting a little bit close to our popularity levels. And I don't think we're happy <laughs> yeah. with that. But, uh, you know, always great to have Darcy on the show to uh, find out kind of his thoughts on, on taping sticks as well. I mean, everybody's got their own little way. Awesome. Let's bring in Darcy Matang. Come on in, Mitt. Let's uh, have a chat. Well, I can't shake oh, your hand, Mitt, because I'm going to take care of you. My partner will take care of you. Welcome to the show again, Darcy. We're going to talk to you a little bit about taping hockey sticks, right? You know, you being a seasoned veteran and taping sticks, can you give us a little bit of thoughts on taping? Well, I mean, uh, you know, ever since uh, a lot of sticks changed from wood to the composite, um, you know, those plastic blades are really tough to handle the puck, so uh, you need quite a bit more tape on them as compared to, you know, the old days when you had the one or two strips. But, uh, you know, everybody has their own preference. Some people like wax, some people like uh, just regular tape. Um, you know, I guess it's all on, on how you get a feel for the puck and, and how you, uh, I guess, how you play. And you mentioned wax. Uh, I guess talk about uh, do you use it and what kind of differences have you seen if, you, if you've if you tried it at the very least and what uh, kind of your thoughts on it? Um, you know, I use it once in a while. When you play in a hot rink and you get the ice gets a little bit slushy, you know, you don't want your stick weighing down um, and, and your tape getting wet. So, you know, you put a little bit on there and it seems to help preserve the blade a little bit. But uh for me personally, I find that uh, wax, uh, I can't handle the puck as well. <laughs> Not that I ever could, but uh, um, yeah, just regular tape uh, for me uh, seems to uh, to do fine. Now, there's, is there a difference between, you know, people using white stick tape on their blade or black stick tape? You hear some, you know, the tender can see the puck coming and it's a white blade or a black blade tape. Does it matter? You know, it really doesn't matter. I guess it's all preference, you know, what you grew up, what your parents taught you to put on, I guess, or what you like, you know. Some kids have uh, pink tape right now, so, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's all preference. But uh, for me, I personally, I always like white tape. Um, you know, I, it seems to blend in with the ice a little bit, but uh, so I put a little bit of uh, a puck, I rub a puck on there just to make it a little bit darker. But, uh, you know, that's what I went with over the years, and uh, it seems to do all right. Awesome. You know, a lot of psyche going on there, Mitch. Like, different things happening with the old brain thoughts on the other tape. <laughs> it's all that psychological thing, yeah. really. I mean, whatever psychological edge you think you can have over uh, opposing teams, you'll, you'll take it. I mean, Darcy mentions uh, ping tape. you got some, some pink tape going on there yourself. <laughs> well, we're, if Mitch grabs a couple of sticks over there, Darcy, we're going to get him to tape some sticks for us, show us some sample ways of how taping, because sometimes people don't know how to tape stick. You know, it's always good to learn it. Fourth line is about information, buddy. Absolutely, and Dar <laughs> Dars is at the level now where, you know, uh, he could probably tape a stick in about 20 seconds if he wanted to, but, uh, you know, for instructional purposes, we'll get him to... Just down slow it down a little bit. Mitt, pick your, pick your poison well, there, buddy. I'll start with the white tape. So, you know, a lot of people, uh, they say back uh, when hockey, you know, when I started, uh, a lot of defensemen like to go um, toe to heel, um, you know, a little bit more control in the mid-range mid for passing, stuff like that forwards, heel to toe, um, you know, the puck kind of rolls to the tip of your stick so you can get those quick snapshots off. But, you know, like you say, it's all preference. Um, some people are really picky about uh, having any creases in their stick or anything. So it's, you know, it's, it's all on uh, what you're comfortable with and uh, I guess superstitions. Well, that's why I could probably never score because I never learned how to take my stick properly. <laughs> so, you know, just basic start off. A lot of, some people put, uh, you know, a strip, just a bottom strip on your stick like this. You know, rip it off. Just kind of up, up the bottom of your your blade. Just to, uh, you know, sometimes that, uh, those blades come a little bit sharp and, you know, they wreck your tape job. Um, this, you know, more or less helps preserve. You can go around the toe if you want. Um, for me, I just, uh, you know, use one strip here. I start to uh, heal the toe. 
it's a lefty, so it's a little bit different, okay. but uh, you know, and try and keep the, the tape flat as you can. You don't have to pull it too hard because you're gonna iron it out a little bit later with the tape, but some people like to stop here. Some people like to go right to the tip. You know, once you get up to the tip, it's a little bit harder to uh, round that tape around. So um, you can either pinch it off here, rub it down a little bit. You know, there's your basic tape job. You know, heel to toe, take you about 10 seconds. I was gonna say, his, uh, his time was better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> well, that's pretty sweet. Now, if someone wanted to put wax on that, how would the, uh, the wax be yeah. related? You know, like a, a lot of uh, companies now have their own uh, um, stick wax, you know, just made specific, specifically for t uh, sticks, but uh, you know, any candle will do really. And you know, for the most part, you really wanna get the bottom of the ice where the, or bottom of the stick where the uh, stick touches the ice. You know, and you just rub it on, rub it on gently. You don't want to cake it on too much. You'll pretty much pick up the puck with the, with a, you know, the stick like a spatula kind of thing, but just rub it on the bottom, you know, get it evenly uh, throughout the stick and, and that'll help save your tape job. Awesome, that's pretty sweet. Now, how about darts going towards the other end or the butt end of the stick, like different types, like, now, I have understand and learned that using black tape wrecks your gloves, right? Is that really, I've seen it happen, does it, is it doesn't matter really? Well, I wouldn't say it really wrecks your gloves. I mean, you know, if you had them for 10 or 15 years, it might wreck your gloves eventually. But, yeah. uh, you know, for the most part, you grow out your gloves. Uh, you know, kids grow out their gloves every, you know, one or two years. So, you know, for the most part, it really doesn't uh, affect your gloves too much. Talk about the, the differences at the, at the top of the stick. A lot of goaltenders like the really thick wad of tape right up there. Uh, some defensemen I know uh, use a slightly smaller one just so that you know when they're going for the stick check, the, the, their stick's not flying out of their hands. And some, some players don't even use one at all. What were your kind of thoughts on that? Well, you know, uh, goalies, I think, you know, by the time they're done taping their stick, the end of it looks kind of <laughs> like that, even a little bit bigger. So when they fire that poke check out, you know, they have something to grab onto. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, um, I believe there's a rule, so um, you know they tape it black. They got to put one white strip around it so it's white on top. So when there sticks down on the ice and that black uh, knobs there, if it was straight black, it'd look like a puck in the crease. For sure. So I think uh, for rules' sake, uh, they 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 have to have them put one strip of, strip of white on the top. Well, that's pretty good, you know, Mitchell. Like you know, tape of sticks. You know, we. Everyone thinks it's an easy chore. It is. It mm -hmm. looks easy, now, but you know, there's different ways, different techniques. All psyche, buddy. And you know what? It, it took me a little while to kind of get that that rhythm down that you saw Darcy using, just around yeah. and around and around. And you know, it just you can you can do it over and over again. But like you know, if you're a guy like me, I didn't like. I was like Darcy was mentioning. I'm a guy that kind of, that kind of guy that doesn't like those little creases in between. You know, it's got it's got to look flush right across. And so it took me a little bit to kind of get it to where I liked it. But uh, I've even seen some guys take uh, some tape here. And they've actually split it, kind of right down the middle here, and it takes, I mean, twice the time because your your tape's not as thick. And I I, I was never one of the guys that was that uh, deliberate, but uh, you know, we were talking a little bit off camera. This is Darcy's third time yeah. on the show. He needs a nickname. You know, he definitely needs a nickname. Like you know, something from like Pawn Stars Chumley or something. Chumley. <laughs> we're bringing him in here. We got to get him a nickname going. You something know? We, good, I think. Yeah, I'm sure. Good. I'm sure you guys can. Somebody can come up with something. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, that's a good call. Fourth Line Hockey Show, for our fans out there, if you want to help us out get Matani a nickname, you can go to uh, icetraders.com or email ploof at icetraders.com. Send in some thoughts. Let's get him a nickname. Go and have a little bit of a contest and see what happens. I like it. And, you know, usually when you do this kind of thing, you get a lot of good ones. So maybe on the next show, sometime later in the future, we'll be able to kind of uh, list off a few of them, the ones we can say on air anyways, because I know if I put out a call for a nickname, I'd get a few that, uh, you know, were a little questionable. So uh, we'll, we'll pick a few that we could say on the air, and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll be able to hammer one out here. That is sweet. Fourth Line Hockey Show wants to thank Royal Sports Shop and our cool dude Tanner on the camera and our guest uh, Darcy Mittani. And once again, my power winger, Mitchell Clinton. Things are happening. Tune in next week, guys.